Hey there, my name's Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Today I want to tell you how you can use uh, Clang, which is part of the LLVM compiler infrastructure to compile C, C++, Objective-C code on Windows, on Linux and on Mac OS. We're going to use Clang, which is the front end that understands uh, C, C++ and so on. And I'm going to show you how you can use it across all of the popular platforms. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so there are a couple of ways I want to show you how to get it running on Windows. First of all, using Visual Studio 2019. Here I am, if we look here about Visual Studio, Visual Studio Community Edition 2019. What you do is you go up to Tools, Get Tools and Features. You can also run the Visual Studio installer uh, separately yourself. And that will bring up the little options of what you can add to Visual Studio. And we will then search for Clang. Okay, so what you do is go over to individual components. Then here in the search box, we type in Clang. It will bring up these two. We want to tick both of those. One installs the actual compiler. The other allows it to be integrated inside of Visual Studio. And then we just go ahead and install that. Okay, so Visual Studio has finished downloading uh, Clang and the platform tools for the integration inside Visual Studio. I've got Visual Studio up here. I've got the default project that you get if you just go through the wizard to create a very simple Windows desktop application. What you do on the project here, you go over and you right hand click on the project name there, all the way down to properties. And then in this very first window that comes up, platform tool set at the moment is set to Visual Studio. If you click on that, you can do a drop down and go to LLVM CLang CL. CLang CL is the Visual Studio compatible version, uses the same flags and everything. Click on OK. And now over here we can say, well, yep, yeah, please uh, go ahead and build that for me, please, which is what it's gonna do. And then just to show you how this works, we can just click, there you go, in that little simple uh, program that you get there from uh, the default project. And that's it. So that's using uh, compiling Windows uh, code, using Windows uh, APIs and so on, but now using Clang. Another way you can get Clang on Windows if you don't want to use uh, it with Visual Studio or use the integrated version that comes with Visual Studio is to download it directly from the LLVM project page. So you get into the project page and then it's scroll down till we find the pre-built binaries. Here we go. At the bottom here, Windows 32-bit, Windows 64-bit. I'm going to download the 64-bit. Let's just kick off that download and then we can install it afterwards. Okay, so that downloaded a .exe. I've double clicked on the .exe. Uh, LLVM 10 Win 64, do I want to run it? Yes, I do. Preparing the setup now. Welcome to the LLVM setup. Let's go through this. Yes, we agree to the license. Yes, I'd like to add the uh, LLVM to the path. So I'll do that for the current user. You can choose how you want to do that. I'll create a desktop icon as well. Where are you going to install it? Well, just for because of my disk space situation here, I'm going to install it on the D drive instead. You can choose wherever you want to install it. And then let's just go ahead and install that. Since this video is about installing a C compiler, I guess you are interested in C programming. Have you considered the complete C programming bonus bundle? Look at all those courses, advanced C, including pointers. There's some refreshes and some tutorials for beginners there. There's covering algorithms. There's even another little course there on C++, Python and Ruby as well. So that all comes in the complete C programming bonus bundle. If you buy this bundle through the link that will be in the description, you also help out this channel. Okay, let's carry on. Okay, so now I've opened up a normal uh, Windows command prompt. I've gone into my source directory. Here I have my hello uh, world uh, C program again. And just like on the other ones, I just do clang minus uh, o uh, hello w.exe. And then we want to run hello world.c. Let's compile that. And now we can run hello w.exe. Hello world. So there you go. Another way of getting Clang running uh, on Windows. So one way to install it on Linux is to just use the package manager that comes with your distro. Here I'm using uh, Ubuntu on a Windows subsystem for Linux 2. So of course you can just do a sudo apt get or apt, depending on what you want to do, install, and then to get the latest version, at the time making this video, it's clang dash whatever hyphen 10. So we'll go ahead and it says, uh, yes, do you want to do that? Yes, yes, yes. Right, so that's all installing. So once that's done, we'll come back to see how we can compile a program using it. 
Okay, so that's installed. So here I have a very simple uh, program, C program, hello world.c. There it is, just prints out hello world. Now normally, of course, you would do GCC to compile a program. Now what we're gonna do is say CLang-10, because that's the version. That means you can install CLang-9 and so on, and it, and it tells you, you know, you can dif differentiate between them. CLang-10 minus O, hello W, and the source code is hello w.c. There you go, very simple compile. Uh, file hello w there is 64 bit x8664 binary and then of course we can just run it and there you go hello world so that was it written uh, a C program compiled using clang on linux another way to get clang on linux this time i'm going to do it on a raspberry pi is to download it directly from the llvm project website if we scroll down here to the download llvm 10.0.0 we can see there is an arm v7a Linux version, that is a tarball. So you need to download that onto your Raspberry Pi. Okay, so here I am on my Raspberry Pi and I have downloaded that tarball now onto here. There you go, you can see it, there it is. And now you need to unpack that tar xvf, that's uh, extract verbose, and then the name of the f for file. And then we're gonna go for the clang.tar.xz. And so we'll unpack that. Okay, that's unpacked. As you can see, the folder name is very, very long there. CLang plus LLVM 10 Linux. Now, of course, you could shorten that, uh, but the most important thing is you need to put that on your path or you can call it directly. So what we're gonna do is we go into my source directory. Here I have a very simple program, hello world.c. And what we can actually do is we can just call that CLang compiler now using that really big name slash bin slash CLang. And then we just compile it like we would normally, let's say minus O, that's the name of the output file. And then of course now the C file, and that's it, it's compiled it. So file hello W, there you go, 32-bit ARM here on the Raspberry Pi. And of course we can run that. Now if you wanted to use this more, you would definitely put that on your path, but that's another way to get uh, CLang onto Linux. So the easiest way to get a CLang on the Mac is to install Xcode from, of course, the App Store because uh, Xcode includes uh, CLang in it. And once you have Xcode installed, for example, I've got uh, my Hello World program again, and then we can do exactly like we did everywhere else. Uh, CLang minus O, Hello W, Hello W dot C, that compiles it, file of Hello W, it's a Mac uh, executable for Intel 64-bit. And then we can just run it, hello world. So there you go. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. I really hope you enjoyed this quick look at how you can use uh, CLang across the different platforms. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of videos, why not stick around by subscribing to the channel? Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.